What's up YouTube? I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. I am bringing some more Tarkov and last night was horrible. I died back to back to back. After dying like seven times, I ended up switching to Call of Duty and died a whole lot on there as well. I don't know what it is about last night, but I could not seem to get it right. I even tried to switch it up change what i was using i tried everything but it didn't matter i was losing gunfight after gunfight as you're about to see also i did happen to hit a couple of people in their face and it just didn't give it to me i i wasn't just losing my gunfight sometimes i was kind of getting screwed before we jump into it if you guys are enjoying this daily content leave a like and subscribe i really enjoy doing this so i'm going to do it no matter what but a little encouragement never hurt any thank you for those of you who do and let's jump right into the day of death. I'd like to think we have some form of control still, making our constant binary choices and voicing our equally shallow opinions more loudly or quietly. Most people can't even decide what color to wear or which burger to eat. Well, does it matter, man? Autonomy is an illusion. I decided to start the day out with a scav match, end up at least getting a kill, but watching it over, I still have no idea where I was getting shot from. And on top of that, it was so silent, it was so hard to pinpoint it. Watching it back though, I do know that the bullets were actually hitting to my right, so he had to be somewhere, I'm guessing, on my left, but I just, I have no idea. Jumping into this next clip, I end up dying in the same place, not once, but twice. How? So unfortunate and watching back the first clip I could have sworn that was close to his face neck area pretty lucky he didn't die from that and then the second clip he I'm just super slow that was the first round I did this morning so I was still waking up I was groggy but as you can see I just continuously get more and more frustrated after the end of each death I get just a little bit more toxic the what, what? Oh, that's a my god, die. Where did he come from? I don't know if there's a worse feeling than getting caught with your pants down and your meds out in Tarkov. Oh. 
What? Did get him, what a shot. I was so mad by this point that I just I, I was at a loss for words I didn't even say anything I still wanted at least one successful clip so I was like you know what I'm gonna grab the only gun that I literally never use because it has this super awkward delay and that's the SV98 I love the gun itself if they'd fix that you click and it shoots a half a second later weird mess up but it's been like that since I've been playing I think for maybe two two and a half years now so I hope one day it gets fixed but it ends up being a half decent match until the very end and after that is when I actually ended up going straight over to Warzone because I just I couldn't take it anymore Scope is so small. Ooh. So I spend quite a while looking for this guy. After the last time that he shot at me, I hear nothing. I don't see him at all. I'm searching, and that's when I realize I'm out of food and water. I forgot to fill it right before I went in the raid. So I decided to run over here and loot this, and that's when the scav army found me. <sighs>
For once, my luck finally paid off. Not only did I manage to find food inside that bag, but then I found water on the first scab that I killed. That luck didn't last long at all. I guess, my only guess is that somehow he managed to make his way all the way around searching for me. And then as soon as my character made the Ugh! sound, he had to happen to be in the area and heard it. And then just looked around and seen me laying there. That's the only explanation I can see that worked. Other than that, it was horrible. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.